Hey guys, it's Alan today, and today we'll be unboxing something from Kogan. I think it's a uh, scale, so it's a digital one, so um, let's open it. So we've got a knife to actually help us with this. And Kogan has given us some nice packaging with a logo as well. So, open all this. And this was, uh, I think $25.99, but it usually retails for about, I think, $60 or so. I can't remember the exact price. Alright, so we've got a cardboard box. Oops. That's nice. Um, yeah, so nice cardboard box. Most waste sales are usually sold in cardboard boxes and it's a good thing, environmentally sustainable. But Bella Vita or Vita is the brand name, digital body weight scale. So this one I got because I wanted to measure my body weight but also measure my fat percentage as well. And it was pretty cheap for $25.99. So we've got the warning. We are okay with that. Um, yeah. So I'm going to measure it as well so we can see the approximate size. So 32 centimeters by around 32 or 33. It's so square, so it's pretty compact too. Alright, so I've taken some thumbnails for this. Now it looks really clean there, but we're now going to be opening it. Okay, so here we have it. Now we're going to flip it over. And I'm going to get the, these tabs. Pretty heavy. Okay. So we've got a lot of cardboard, which is good, and then a sleeve of plastic, which is Recyclable. Got some manual stuff. Looks like a pizza box. This kind of looks like a pizza box. And here we go. So this is the scale. Let's take it out and have a look. Pretty nice. Really sleek design. It's quite different to my one that we usually use but um, so you've got the quadrants of the circle and then you've got four symbols here one's probably for weight, one's for muscle mass or something like that and something else and then you can set it which is great um, yeah so it does come with a manual as well um, I'm not gonna really read it too much yeah so let's flip it and you have to actually activate the batteries so here so I, I think I can just do okay I'll, I'll probably have to actually screw it out first so let's get my screwdriver first and we can continue. Hey guys I found my screwdriver so I'm gonna unscrew these and then they'll allow me to access um, the bay for the batteries and then I can well that's assuming that there's batteries which there should be and to lift this plastic tab so I can actually use it and show you guys it in action. So we've got two CR 2032 batteries. You can actually get these in eBay like pretty cheaply, like a dollar each. So I'm gonna do that, press it in, and that should allow me to um, to power it on. So let's actually this on. I'm gonna screw it back in. Bit of trouble you don't really have to you don't this doesn't actually need to have screws here because I reckon the tab could just be held in but I guess maybe this tab might 
on a break. So I guess the screws just hold it in. Because this does support up to 150 kilos. And you can also create profiles, but I'm not sure how to do that right now because I think I'll need to read the manual, which I don't want to read now. So, how do we turn it on? Oh, okay. So you press the set button. I didn't have to look at the manual for that. Okay, so it is kind of hard to see the numbers. Uh, I'm gonna take off my camera. So here you can see I'm exerting about 10, nine kilos of force with my left hand. Um, there are other things on here that you can see like fat, kilograms, pounds, age, profiles, but and like even heights and centimeters and all that, and it automatically switches off as well. So I'm actually gonna get this configured and actually run myself, and you can see it. Okay, so I'm filming with my phone, and we're actually working out some instructions here. So we need to sign a user ID, so we need to press the set button, and then what we need to do is um, press up. Oh. Oh, that's a bit quick. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Oh. P2, P1. How do I navigate? I'm not too sure. Okay, so I have to press set, then I need to confirm my user ID, which I'll do P1 because I'm the only user right now. Um, okay, that, that didn't really work. Alright, let's press the set button. And gonna set to confirm. Gender is. Uh, no athlete. I'm not an athlete. It's normal. Yep. And I'm going to press set to confirm. Now it's the height. Now, if this was linked to Bluetooth via your phone, this would be much easier, but um, can't do that. Setting age. Um, 22, well, in a couple of months I'll be 23. Okay, that's all right. So now it's got the kilos, so we can actually start um, measuring. Okay, so now we're gonna actually um, weigh myself. Okay, so it's ready. Let's go on. with my smartphone here and looking down so it's also measuring um, weight so it's under weight now it's going to do some volume impedance so cycling through those buttons so we'll show it three times and so here you can see so it gives you some time. Thirty-two point seven percent fat. Uh, forty-eight point one TBW. Cool, and then we'll switch off. I think. Yeah. Okay. So the manual also includes some standard measurements or a chart. So this would be. Uh, focus. This would be for fat, this would be for water percentage. Yeah, and um, then you have muscle mass and bone mass. Okay, guys, so there is the scale, and you 
would have seen um, me use it as well with my friend for ditch and you can see to the right as well that's the old scale that just something where just mate weight not mate and that one uh, does more uh, stats so my ones were measured at 117.8 kilos fat percentage it measures is 32.7 percent which I'll be needing to work on uh, TPW or water um, percentage is it's 48.1 percent muscle mass is 37.9 percent and bone mass is 4.7 kilos now with these weight scales you can't like ultimately um, take these uh, measurements as fact but it is good to I guess as a general type of measure of your health so I think um, I'll definitely come back and do a review um, in four weeks or a couple weeks and I should have some stats that I can actually show you guys um, which I'll chart out in a spreadsheet just be aware that with these um, scales they don't have a Bluetooth connection so that might mean that if you want to keep track of your weight it's a bit harder um, because it's not in, it's not contained in an app with all your stats and then you can export it to a spreadsheet so you'll just have to do pen and paper just that old-fashioned way really but that's okay because Bluetooth scales can cost a hundred dollars or like much more money which is pretty not that, not really that good because you're just playing for the Bluetooth connection and an app so I also bought this scale to also keep track of my health goals so in addition to going to the gym and eating better I want to keep track of things like fat percentage and water mass or water percentage and muscle mass and bone mass to get a bigger picture of things so I think I'll be using these um, using this definitely um, I'm not sure when I'll be resuming my fitness videos there hasn't been much because of coronavirus and the gyms being closed but my gyms opening next Saturday but I have no idea what the restrictions are or like how many people can be in the gym so I might just I, don't know, I might just do like some videos on uh, like food prep or like what I'm eating or maybe even just what I'm doing to fill in the gap of gym which has really been uh, uh, like table tennis um, playing it against the door because I don't have a table tennis table and going for walks and um, I also bought, bought some uh, tennis balls yesterday because I wanted to practice some tennis um, at the park. They have like a concrete wall, like a brick wall, and it's it's good because then you don't have to really pay money to pe play on the tennis court. And even then you'll probably need someone to play with, which is can be hard to, to have. So at least against the wall I can sort of practice my, um, yeah, my uh, uh, forehands and whatnot technique. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Um, if there's any items or I don't know, videos or series you want me to do, like maybe PC builds or something along the lines of the newest technology to review or open, please let me know. Um, and hopefully I might be able to get to those videos. But um, I'm currently thinking about doing some more PC build re videos on I guess recommendations on what to have because Intel and AMD recently came out with their new um, architecture and um, new CPUs and all that so that will kind of change the game. So thanks for watching I and um, if you want to keep up with the latest do subscribe and um, click the bell icon and click all notifications so you don't miss out on the video. Alright see you guys.